I wouldn't call those great nails. Apply a thick layer of the cream on your nail plate. Don't make it penetrate. What? I can't tell what the company is. is I find fascinating. So I wanted, I found out about this from somebody uh, on Instagram, I think posted it and then as I was doing research I found out that Christine Simply No Logical had done a review on it um, and it is called Remove and Chill Nail Polish Eraser Cream. So you know me, all of the researching and testing, I was like I gotta try this and guess what? <laughs> it's only available in the UK and so with shipping and everything this little baby cost me 50 bucks. Um, what I do for you guys <laughs> but I'm very curious because it has no acetone and claims that it's very kind to your skin and your nails um, comes as a cream which makes me go ah. anyway all right so um, this is this is interesting to me because this is the packaging and um, as you guys know I have a degree, and well, maybe you guys don't know. I have a degree in advertising and um, and graphic design, so I'm always curious. I mean, like when the Super Bowl comes on, my favorite part is not the game; it's the commercials because <laughs> I have that degree in in advertising, and so I just love seeing what's being done. And you know, when a commercial is really stupid, you go, you know what? It wasn't so much the advertiser. Yes, they came up with the idea, but it was the CEO or the company that said, yeah, let's do this crazy, stupid commercial. But anyway, I digress. So I find it interesting when companies choose a very, very busy type of logo. And this says, I don't care, but then crossed out the NT but you still read it and so it's like I don't care where it's they're trying to say I do care hmm <laughs> okay that's a bad idea um, great nails great smell okay I wouldn't call those great nails for those of you who need to be able to see over the I move it off the writing to all the comments um yeah you guys all know what great nails look like um so and then this is the back. Okay, so I can't tell what the company is. Is the company sign with the sign tribe.com? I don't know. Is the company, I don't care. Uh, obviously we know the product is remove and chill. Okay, then on the back. This is fascinating to me. Instructions, apply a thick, well one, here's all of the, the ingredients, a whole bunch of great ingredients. Um, I had to ask my mom what was the solvent, and I think it was the propylene carbonate. I don't remember. There's a lot of oils and stuff. Um, anyway, so apply a thick layer of the cream on your nail plate. Don't make it penetrate. What? Okay. Leave the cream to effect on your nails. To effect on your nails. Okay, that's not great English. Uh, one minute for every nail polish layer. Three minutes if you're using a base and top coat system. Relax and chill. Uh, first massage, then remove the cream with a dry cotton pad or tissue. Use on any regular polish. Doesn't work on shellac or gel. Okay. Um, interesting. And then this is the sticker on the back that holds the whole thing together. Um, what? All right. I guess that's supposed to be excitement. <laughs> okay, here's what it comes with. This card that could give you um, seizures. Okay, so here again is the product. Um, it kind of has that 1950s feel, I guess. I don't know. Um, but again, I don't care. I do care. Okay. Um... Same thing with the directions, except a little bit. Apply a thick layer on the nail plate, leave on for one to three minutes, massage and remove with a cotton pad. 
wash hands after use only for regular nail polish doesn't work on shellac or gel okay so then I've got sign here but then it says Cosnova uh, Frankfurt but and on New York but made in Italy <laughs> okay that's confusing um okay so then here's the instruction card that comes with it um, and then so then this is a tagline you know it's good when it smells like heaven but then it says sign the sign tribe I'm so confused so this is really important <laughs> called branding um, you want it to be consistent you want people to know who you are what you are how to find you all of those things um, so I'm picking this apart for you guys so again apply a thick layer on your nail plate but don't make it penetrate everything that I read before you're all set wash your hands after use I am NOT going to use it on my nails so what I did was I I cheated I swatched some polishes I got an old wheel so I did five layers of polish so I had some that were already colored and with two layers so those I just covered so I did it kind of random odd order so I've got two layers of color under this then two layers of base coat that's white and then a layer of top coat and then this was done properly two layers of base coat two layers of color and two layers or and one layer of top coat so all right let's try it <laughs> okay so I actually already opened it you have to it had a tiny little piece of aluminum foil which is was very hard to get off um, so it's a thick gel you're supposed to put it on but don't let it penetrate mm hmm we'll see how it goes so you guys time it I have five layers of polish so it should take five minutes yes maybe um, you guys time me I I'm using my phone so I can't time it I will admit it smells really really good it's also very very messy so all right so while that's percolating and cooking I am going to move on to the Sally Hansen stuff um, cloth <laughs> I'm a mess I don't want my skin to fall off Oh, we shall see. Okay, somebody set a timer. Five minutes. Um, okay, let me see if there's any questions. Or did not like it. So Christine of Simply No Logical did not like this product. Let me move this out of the way. She did not like Remove and Chill. Um, I also think that I also was frustrated by her review of it just for me personally because I wanted I wanted to see it tried different ways and um, and I didn't get that so which is why I spent fifty dollars to have it sent to me um, so welcome all of you guys welcome 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 to all of you who don't know who I am I'm Anna I'm the um, CCO the Chief Creative Officer of Bliss Kiss um, <laughs> D Roaring Tiger says, I think that's way too much work for me. Uh, LOL, I'd rather use your clips. I'm moving that direction too. Yeah, Rhea, I think you might be right. Okay, has somebody been timing for me? Because I think I'm just going to um, say, you, uh, why did you stop uploading the lives to YouTube? I have not. I just am super, super busy and I actually have been working on um I've been working on editing them so but they're an hour long you guys so it takes me longer um Kate what was the color world supposed to look like I'll show that again but it was supposed to look like that so <laughs> we'll see and here's what it looked like um yeah no okay um Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
I actually really, you guys, I love the look of uh, a spotted type of thing, but one minute left. Okay, five minutes are up. Now it probably got more than five minutes, but let's see. It cracks me up when they say, don't let it penetrate. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Because doesn't a solvent need to penetrate the polish? So, let's see if Christine was right. Okay. I can't tell if it's getting all the way down to the white. That white, um, the white base coat that I used. So, actually, it is getting it all off. And I think it was that Christine had like, she had like five or six layers and she only gave it the one minute. And I'm like, well, we at least have to try following the instructions. Okay, so this is the one that had base coat on top because I just did it backwards. And um, this is interesting. Let me get a paper towel. This might work better. Okay. You know, trying to give products the benefit of the doubt. And the reason that I do these kind of things is because I go, oh, this is a really cool product. Could I offer this to my customers? Could I do something like this? Could I do it better? And isn't this interesting? Um, <laughs> the base coat came off and a little bit of the polish, but... Okay, I'm rubbing, I'm rubbing and I'm scrubbing. Um, yeah, this is really interesting. So I'm kind of inclined to, I don't know, I don't know if I, you know, I didn't set up a whole bunch, I should have. Next time I know for when I do these things, do lots and lots of examples. Oh, sorry, the lighting just went weird. Um, so, okay, we're getting this, but boy, am I having to work hard, and it's not. And so then, I think somewhere I read, it was like, if it doesn't come off, where did it go? No, but I kind of figured, if it doesn't come off, you're going to have to apply more. So, we've now waited five minutes for this, and you would have to wait longer. <laughs> You'd have to put more on. Oh, that's interesting. That only had two coats of polish. And just me rubbing, actually. So one of the things that I don't like, you guys, is when we're removing polish, I don't like grinding it into the nail plate. So this only had two coats of polish on that. So that didn't even sit. And just me putting stuff on it made it... I'm just going to experiment. See, this is how I experiment. I try. I try all kinds of different things. But I don't like scrubbing the nail plate because if you're dissolving pigments um, and you're scrubbing, what are you doing? You're scrubbing it into the layers of your polish. Sorry, the lighting keeps going wacko. I wonder if it's just better in my this dark office. better with one I don't know I I, do, I don't want to work this hard so in that way I'm I'm with Christine um, it's because she's like I'll just go back to acetone yeah me too that's too much work so unfortunately I think this is why and I think they sent it to her as a product to try and the worst thing you guys is to not know if your product works before you send it to a blogger with four million followers um that would be a bad business move too so uh, it uh it's it's interesting and the the company the website the website was weird too so anyway there's the results. I'm not thrilled. 
yeah. So unfortunately, this little $50 thing for me, it was like, I don't know, $30 plus. Because it was 34 pounds um, plus shipping, international shipping. So see, I paid $20 shipping, you guys. And a lot of people who are international get so mad at us because they have to pay $13 shipping to get our products over to them. So there's some perspective. It smells fantastic, but it's horrible. It, mm, I hate saying when a product is does not live up to its claims, which is sad. It's really sad. Um, but a part of that too is I don't think they understood the they don't understand how important good branding is. So this is like, is the company sign? Um, and it says the sign tribe.com. Um, but the product is, was remove and chill nail polish eraser cream. But then their logo, maybe this is the logo. It's supposed to be, I do care, but it says, I don't care with this crossed out. And that's just, a, no. Hey everyone, to share with friends, click below. Subscribe now to stay in the know. Kindly comment here, what will you say? And remember you're awesome and have a blissful day.